Welcome everybody. Uh, today, yes, it's going to be Legends of Boxing PC. Uh, can't seem to shake myself away from this game. It's very addictive. A lot of different uh, matchups and different uh, ways to play. Uh, but at this one, I'm going to start a heavyweight tournament uh, featuring every one of the boxers that are... Um, with the game, uh, with the uh, extra sets and everything. Uh, I forgot how many total there are, but uh, it's quite a bit. It's going to be a quite a thing. I, I hope, well, I'm going to definitely play every fight out. Uh, I'm not going to sim any of the fights. Um, and uh, what I'd like to do is test out the manual entry at some point. And maybe play some um, fights on the tabletop and then enter the results. Try that out. Uh, but right now I'm going to play the PC game. And uh, let's check out some of the early matchups here in this preliminary round. Let's head to the ring. All right. So Michael Moore will open up things ranked uh, seated at number 92 going against Bob Satterfield seated at 161. Uh, I'm going to fight as many fights as I can here uh, in, on one each card or each uh, video. Uh, depending on how long the fights go, they're set for 10 rounds as the standard uh, uh, length. So Moore and Satterfield, and then up next after that, Matt Foster taking on uh, Tyrell Biggs. Two-ton Tony Galento will take on Carl Mildenberger. Brian London against Scott Ledoux. Let's start there and uh, start off with Michael Moore and Bob Satterfield in the opening bout of this tournament. So it didn't do the tail of the tape, but uh, uh, more considered a tactical fighter. So that's going to put Satterfield at a disadvantage. Satterfield, a power, a uh, physical fighter, and he is going to be uh, at a. Uh, it's going to be a, a disadvantage for him as far as control goes. Defense, more has the edge there. Power, slight edge to Satterfield. Durability, they're even. Chins. Uh, neither one of these guys have a great chin. Uh, Satterfield has the weaker of the two. Cut, they're about equal. Will, the body equal, T cut. So it's a pretty even matchup as far as uh, talent goes. Um, uh, Moore does have a special trait for his will. There's no penalty for knockdowns, so his will will not go down if he's been knocked down. And then as far as modes go, more 1 to 2 to elusive, 3 to 13 he'll be on the outside, uh, 14 and 15 he'll be on the inside, and then 16 to 20 he'll be in pressure mode. Satterfield doesn't uh, fight from the outside as much, he is 1 to 5 outside. 6 to 11 on the inside and 12 to 20 pressure mode. So uh, Satterfield will open up the fight in pressure and Moore goes to elusive because he knows that Satterfield is going to come out quickly. Uh, records, we didn't go over those. 52 wins for Michael Moore, 4 losses, 1 draw, 40 of his wins by knockout. Satterfield, 50 wins, 25 losses, and 4 draws. 35 of his 50 wins were by knockout. So here we go. Live from MGM. Grand Garden Arena. Sweet overhand right. Oh, beautiful 
right uppercut. He's looking to establish the jab. Unloads two jabs and goes downstairs to the midsection. So great job by Michael Moore staying away from Satterfield's. Uh, Satterfield got a couple punches in, but uh, Moore did a great job of uh, kind of landing a couple shots, jumping back out, coming back in, hitting a few more, and getting back out of there before Satterfield could connect. But uh, good round for Michael Moore to start the, start the fight. We head to round two. Looks like Moore going to the inside as Satterfield jumps to the outside. Coming forward, lands the right. Misses with that straight right. Just trying to do his best to avoid the attack. Just trying to do his best to avoid the attack. So Moore was clearly the more active fighter that round. Uh, Satterfield, is, it looks like his uh, corner telling him to get throw more punches as he goes into pressure mode. And Moore going to the inside. Could have some fireworks here. Round three. Satterfield took some serious punishment that round by Michael Moore as he unloaded and opened up a deep cut under the right eye, bleeding profusely. They're going to have to take a look at him. And they're going to let him continue. Big round for Michael Moore. Satterfield better show something here. This fight's going to be over early. Round four. Satterfield's down here in the early on in the fourth. Six. He's up at six. Referee taking a look at him. That's it. That's it. The referee says that's enough. Bob Satterfield is out on his feet. Moore wins by TKO here in the fourth round. An impressive win for Michael Moore. Dominant performance. Moore was up on all three cards for all three rounds. And before he hit that, two quick crosses and sent uh, Bob Satterfield to the canvas for the 
first time, and that was it. He was not on good legs. His cut was reopened. An ugly win, or an ugly loss for Bob Satterfield. Not next, let's take a look at the next fight. Mac Foster taking on Tyrell Biggs. Foster, 30 and 6. With 30 knockouts out of Hoboken, New Jersey. He has got some power against Tyrell Biggs, who's 30 and 10 with 20 knockouts. Uh. Bull. Uh, Biggs will have a slight edge in control. Uh, defense, take, Biggs has an edge there. Power, though, all Foster. Uh, Biggs a little more durable. Chin, they're equal. Cut, Biggs does cut quite easily. Will, Foster has the edge there. Uh, TKO, they're even. And then the finisher, if Foster senses blood, he'll be all over Biggs. So this could be a interesting fight here. Let's head to the ring. Let's get ready to rumble. Round one. So Foster landed a couple early uppercuts. And Biggs hit that uh, cross there late, but it was probably too late, and I'm probably gonna give probably gonna have to give that round to Foster. Round two. So a pretty good round for both fighters. Uh, Foster did land that huge hook that looked like it uh, stunned the Biggs, but he fought through it and landed a couple big punches uh, right after that. And uh, his jab helped keep him keep Foster back at bay for the remainder of the round. We had to round three. And I didn't go over the, the modes here, but uh, 1 to 11 for Foster from the outside. And you see 1 to 8 is elusive for Biggs. And then 9 to 17. So he fights a lot from the outside. And he... Uh, not much on the inside. 18, 19 is outside. And 20 is pressure. 12 to 18 inside for Foster and 19 and 20 is pressure for him. Biggs relies on his defensive uh, uh, 
awareness and a, a good decent hook and a nice jab to keep the harder punches like Foster away. Let's see if he can continue here in round three. Foster is controlling the pace of this fight so far as he continues peppering Biggs and getting some punches in on the uh, elusive Tyrell Biggs. We go to round four and now Foster moves to the outside. Biggs going to try to work his way inside. Foster, again, landing some big punches. Uh, big Zo not going away. He stays there with him and keeps fighting back. We go to round five. Both fighters on the outside. Oh, a big hook! Biggs is down. Foster back at his corner. Eight, nine. It's over. Tyrell Biggs is knocked out cold. Matt Foster wins it by knockout here in round five. And he will advance to the next round in this heavyweight tournament. Matt Foster doubled up point totals uh, and uh, he had at, uh, on the cards he had a majority decision uh, judge one had it even but uh, let's see. up to that knock uh, knockdown that was there was only one other power punch that landed in him that was Foster in the second round with a big hook, and this time it's the hook again, this time sending Biggs to the canvas, and he could not beat the count, and Biggs is gone, Mac Foster will advance. Let's try one more for this video, we're going to go with Tony, two-ton, Tony Galento, taking on Carl Mildenberger, 135 versus 160. Galento, 80 wins, 26 losses, 5 draws, 57 of his 80 wins were by knockout. Out of Orange, New Jersey, 2-ton Tony Galento going up against the German heavyweight from Rhineland, Germany, Karl Mildenberger. He was 53 wins, 6 losses, 3, by, three draws, 19 of his 53 wins were by knockout 
Not a lot of power in his right hand, but he uh, definitely can uh, box a little. He'll give Galento some trouble. He'll have definitely have the edge and control. As uh, he's a tactical fighter, so Galento would be a four against a seven, so definitely an edge for Mildenberger there. Defense, Mildenberger has the edge there. Power, Galento will have the power. Uh, definitely have the um, edge there. Durability, Mildenberger will have the edge. Galento, once uh, if Mildenberger can take him to the later rounds, then it's going to be all. Uh, the edge will definitely be all on uh, Carl Mildenberger's side. Uh, chin, they're even. Cut, pretty even. Uh, will, Galanto does have a, a better will than Mildenberger, so it's not going to give up just uh, that easily. TKO, they're about even. Finisher, Galanto will have the edge there. Uh, endurance, Mildenberger has the edge there. Uh, modes, Galento only fights one to two, uh, one and two outside, three to thirteen inside, fourteen to twenty pressure. Whereas Mildenberger fights pretty much, uh, pretty even as far as uh, outside and inside. Elusive one to two, three to eleven on the outside. 12 to 16 on the inside and 17 to 20 pressure. So here we go. Third fight of this video and let's get ready to rumble. Definitely a contrast in styles here. So Mildenberger will be an 8 CTN to Galento's 11, but Galento is also in pressure modes. That actually, he's actually going to be a uh, 12 CTN. So here we go. Round one. What is this? I just realized the rounds are at 12. I thought I set it at 10, but apparently I must have put it at 12. Just missed that lunge you like took. Did you see how close that was? Right hand connects. Oh, that left hand. Another right hand come out. Oh, there's a step in right hand. So Galento comes right out and attacks Mildenberger right out of the gate. And Mildenberger makes it through the round. Got caught by a big uh, straight right hand. But uh, didn't seem to phase him as he kept fighting. So round two, Galento's... Uh, Endurance is already down to 11. Right 
So Carl Mildenberger, strong second round as he peppered Galento. We head to round three. Galento back to pressure. And Mildenberger is on the inside. Both fighters pretty active that round, landing some good punches. Pretty even. We head to round four. Excuse me. Galento starting to tire. He is now in level one fatigue. So his power goes down to an old four. His CTN up to a 12. Mildenberger trying to take control here now. Strong round from Carl Mildenberger. Nice combination, set up a big uppercut, and then a nice cross that uh, had Galento backtracking. He tied him up to end the round, so Galento's starting to suck wind as he hits level two fatigue now. His chin goes to a four. His will's down to a nine. Unloads two jabs and goes downstairs to the midsection. Right hand connects. Let him go. Another right hand connects. Coming forward, lands the right. Round six was pretty quiet as Miltenberger, though, kept his, uh, slight edge there as Galento just really wasn't throwing much of anything out there. We head to round seven. Two fights. 
fighters. And oh, a rabbit punch. Good exchange for these two fighters. Referee jumps in and stops the fight here in round seven. Galento pretty much immobile as Mildenberger was just peppering him with shots. And the final combination was the final straw where referee jumped in and calls a halt to it at 131 of round seven. Galento exhausted as he heads to his corner. Mildenberger hands up in triumph. He will advance to the next round. Pretty much doubled him up point-wise. And he had a big lead on, well, not a huge lead, but a pretty good-sized lead on all three cards. This one was all Mildenberger. So there's our first three advancing fighters. Michael Moore wins by TK over Bob Satterfield. Mac Foster knocks out Tyrell Biggs. And Carl Mildenberger wins by TKO over two-ton Tony Galento. And that'll be it from here. Next up, Brian London will take on Scott Ledoux. Emilio Agramante will take on Carl the Truth Williams. Mel Turnbow will make a, a, a appearance, taking on George Johnson. So there you go. That's it from here for the first few fights of this heavyweight tournament. It's going to be a long and um, fun ride. Uh, I Like I said, I plan on playing out every one of the fights, um, and even some by uh, uh, tabletop, and then input manually, input the uh, results. But for now... Starting out, uh, we're going to stick with the PC game and go from there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you for the next installment of the Heavyweight Tournament featuring Legends of Boxing PC. Thanks for watching.